Are you a parent, teacher, or librarian interested in literacy skills or beginning reading skills? In this short video series, I'm going to be sharing with you some ideas from library story times that support literacy and beginning reading skills. And you may be thinking, how does a story time support reading skills? Well, I wanted to share with you a quote from Katie Garner's website. It says, scientists say it takes approximately 400 repetitions to create a new synapse in the brain, unless it was done by play, in which case it takes 10 to 20 times. So with that brain-based science, um, and in a playful way during our story times, it's very likely that by the end of a story time, a child may very well associate uh, the being able to recognize a particular letter of the alphabet and being able to remember one of the sounds that those letters make. So um, my name is Lisa. I'm a youth services librarian in the mountains of North Carolina. And for three years, I was the project manager of an IMLS LSTA funded grant that we called Alphabet Ready. And as part of that grant, we went into every pre-K and every kindergarten class in two counties that make up our regional library system with these alphabet story times. So today, I just want to share with you one component of those story times that you might find fun that you could do. Um, and that is a letter puzzle that we created at the beginning of each story time. So at the beginning of the story time, I would mention to the children, um, after I had told them that I was coming from the public library and um, talked a little bit about the difference between a public library and school library, I would tell them that le we were going to do a story time around one letter of the alphabet. And that letters of the alphabet were a lot like animals. They had sounds that they liked to make. And so I would ask the children, you know, did they know the sound that a dog or a cat or a cow make? And they were very accommodating to share those sounds. And then I would tell them that today we were going to be learning about the letter A. Oh, but before we learn about the letter A, I wanted to tell you, um, well, I wanted to ask you, what sound, uh, remind me, what sound does a dog make again? And they would always bark. And then I would say, well, what sound does a dog make when he's sad? and they would whine. And I would say, well, what sound does a dog make if you were, if he was angry or you were trying to take a bone away from him? And they would growl. And I would say, just like the dog can make more than one sound, letters of the alphabet can make more than one sound too. Um, and letter A is definitely one of the letters that likes to make more than one sound. However, today we're only going to be learning one sound that letter A makes, and that is the sound ah. So I'm going to give you clues to words that start with the ah, ah sound and I want you to try to guess them. So the first clue is this is something that you might use if it was if you needed to chop down a tree. And this word rhymes with um, quacks. And hopefully they would guess the word axe. And I would put that puzzle piece that I created just using clip art um, and uh, word art. Um, so there's a picture of our axe. And then I would say, this is a tough one because when I was your age, I did not know that this food existed. It's a green food that um, has a large seed in the middle and you use it to make guacamole. And um, if they can't guess or if I'm not good with clues, I'll just show them a picture and say, do you know what this is? And we would say avocado. And you could also, in the effort of um, phonemic awareness, say it rhymes with a silly word. So you could say the word I'm thinking of starts with ah, but it rhymes with babacado. Um, an another clue is this is somebody who rides a rocket ship up into space and might walk on the moon. And hopefully they would guess astronaut. And we'll put that on our puzzle. And then, oh, this is a kind of scary creature that lives in a swamp and has a large mouth that can chomp. Hopefully they would guess alligator. And if they can't guess, I just show them the picture and see if they know the answer to that. If you uh, were climbing a tree and you fell out and you got hurt, your mother might call for an ah, ah, ambulance. And the last word is maybe you were climbing that tree because you were very hungry and there was something growing in that tree that was red and round and they might say apple. 
So there we put together a puzzle. I would ask the children, what did we make with our puzzle today? And they would say letter A. And then we would sing a song about letter A that goes like this. First of all, let me tell you that in the um, county that we're in, the schools use the Letterland curriculum. And so we want to work in tandem with the curriculum that the schools are using. So there's an action that goes along with each sound of the alphabet in the Letterland curriculum. So their action is ah, like they're eating an apple. So we incorporated that action in the song that we're about to sing. So first I would just have them clap. We are learning letter A, letter A, letter A. We are learning letter A, ah, 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 ah. Then we would, uh, if we have time, do every picture on the puzzle. If we don't, we'd pick a couple of um, pictures from the puzzle to sing about. So maybe we would sing about alligator. And either I would say, here's the action we're going to do, or I would ask the children, what action would you like to do? So then we would sing about that picture. Alligator starts with letter A, letter A, letter A. Alligator starts with letter A, ah, 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 ah. Now I know avocado is a hard one. So we talked about making guacamole. So we said, we've got to mash up that avocado. So here we go. Avocado starts with letter A, letter A, letter A. Avocado starts with letter A, ah, 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 ah. And I like using words that maybe they're not familiar with. I feel like it expands their vocabulary even during this time of play where we are focusing on the shape of the letter A and the sound that letter A makes. I will say that I am thinking about this year of adding, or instead of the capital letter, making a lowercase puzzle because it is the lowercase letters that the children use more frequently in reading. So that is a new component that we're thinking about adding. I could make that fit a little bit better if I had the time. But, um, and then the other thing is, uh, throughout the rest of the story time, we do try to leave a card up to remind, especially if you have any children who English is not their first language, to just keep that reminder of what we're talking about because they are struggling uh, to digest almost every word that you're saying. So I wanted to show you that Although I made this with clip art and word art, that you can go to my learning station and you can get puzzles already made. I will say that in some puzzles that are pre-made, there will be things like anchor that's not quite the true sound of a short letter A. Um, so just be aware of that. And um, this, my teaching station puzzle comes in color or black and white. And so you could print that off and have your own children or a class or story time children cut those out and put the puzzles together themselves. There's another, uh, and I'll link to this in the description below, there's another um, website, Teachers Pay Teachers, and Lavinia Pop has some puzzles there, alphabet puzzles there as well, and she has lowercase puzzles already created. So if you would like to use lowercase, that would be uh, something to check out as well. So I hope that you found the, this idea. We do this at the beginning of each of our st uh, letter story times. We build a puzzle together, and then we go directly into reading a book that has that focus letter in the title of the book, and we have the children help us find that, and then go into our story time. So those were just some ideas we wanted to share with you today. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, if you could give us a thumbs up on YouTube, that would be helpful for us. Um, and as always, we are always looking for more inspiration. So if you have any suggestions or recommendations about how we could make uh, these ideas better and improve upon them for both us and our community, please leave those comments uh, in, in the comment section below the YouTube videos. So thank you again for your time. And in the words of Tigger, ta-ta for now.